Hi and welcome to Tigers TV, ahead of tonight's ice hockey action. So the Telford Tigers take on Peterborough tonight and the Tigers could do with a little bit of motivation and Kelly has found just the person for the job. So talking about players, you actually met some of the players earlier on. Tell us what that was like. Uh, nervous, really nervous. That was my first time ever doing it. And I get and I get got a invite of, uh, 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 on Friday night. And you actually went into the change rooms and gave them some advice, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. So tell us what 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 advice did you give them? Uh, just focus on the game and and, and no penalties. Yeah. And just stay stay at that penalty box. Yeah, and get as many goals as possible. Yes. <laughs> well, let's hope they take that on board. And Tom Watkins, better watch out because you'll be taking his place soon, won't you? Yes. If he's not careful. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for speaking to us. And let's have a look now at when Callum met the players. Focus on the game ahead. No, no, no unnecessary. unnecessarily penalties. Every team will be out to beat us so they can say we beat the champions. Don't let that happen tonight. Defence, defend with everything you've got. Focus, attack, forward. forward, attack with everything you've, you've got. Make everything, every pass count. Goalkeepers, keep your eyes on the puck at all times. Talk yeah. each other. <laughs> especially, yeah, especially Murray and uh, Gospel. <laughs> <laughs> I've enjoyed my season so much with making my nan and me our dreams come true. You all have worked really hard all season with the champions won your next goal is to win the British Chinese Cup and the playoffs. So good go out and, and show everyone how you did 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 it and make the all the fans so very happy and me especially let's go Tigers. Let's go. So that's just the type of motivation the guys need ahead of tonight's game. And Tom Watkins can ice some of the younger players in tonight's game. Like James Smith, who's made a real impression on the NIHL this season. Congratulations on topping the goal scoring in the NIHL this season. Thank you, it's been quite fun playing down there. And how does it feel being back in a Tigers shirt? It's good to be back up here playing again. So up for another trophy in a couple of weeks time. Yep, hopefully win that one as well. First job in hand tonight, Peterborough, always a tough game. Always a tough game, they trap well, they got some players that put the puck away, they got a good goalie yeah. as well. So good evening, welcome to Telford Ice Drink for tonight's ice hockey action. The Telford Tigers were the home league champions last week. It's time for the next league fixture now. So, Jason Silverthorne, Peter Zabo and Nathan Salem are the first line of forwards. And Rupert Quiney and Sam Zajac line up in defence as Jonathan Weaver is not icing this evening for the Tigers. Referee Perrin drops the puck. Ferrara wins it for Peterborough. Passes back to the D. Max Babre for Telford drives the left wing. Plants in support. Heads towards the centre lane. The pass comes across. It deflects from a Peterborough skate. And the puck goes back into neutralise. Sam Zajac skate backwards. Stick handles. Give it to Scott McKenzie. Over to Quiney, forward from Plant. Novak's on the break against the netminder, shoots and scores into the left side, bounces off the post and stays in the back of the net. So the first goal comes from 89. The assist came from Rick Plant, and before that, I believe it was Scott McKenzie. Cleared out off the boards by Rupert Quiney, and now Babray goes with Miller, two on one. Babray across to Miller, back to Babray on the back post and didn't quite connect with the puck. Very selfless from Joe Miller, but unfortunately, Babray couldn't quite finish it. 21, it's a goal. This time it come in, Scott McKenzie gets the pass. 
So it was Max for Bray that fired it home and put it in the back of the net with a pass coming up from Scott McKenzie to put the Telford Tigers on the second goal of the night. Miller. Miller walks in, shoots into the back of the net. He beat the netminder. I thought the netminder had caught it. So did the netminder. Miller with plant drives down that right side, short-handed, a man down, and finds the back of the net for goal number three on 16 minutes and 40 seconds. Miller, angled into the boards by Peterborough. But Bray drives down that right side. At the end of the first period, it's the Telford Tigers three, whilst Peterborough, nil. I am joined with Rob from MOT's R Us. Um, Rob, tell us how, you're, how you felt after la last weekend. Um, last weekend was amazing. Um, you know, to be crowned um, champions, well, the week before really, but, you know, to be crowned it at home and see all the lads excited on the ice and carrying the cup round is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, you couldn't wish for, for the fans and, and the players and all the management team to have had a better season, really. Um, so, yeah, absolutely brilliant. It was almost more emphatic for you being not just a supporter, but also a sponsor. Um, why did MOT or us wanna, and yourself obviously want to sponsor the Telford Tigers? Well, MOT or us get a lot of, um, lot of support from the local community from Telford and surrounding areas, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, it's nice to invest something back, you know. I mean, we are, a, we are an MOT testing station. Um, they do all the MOTs and that and that for the players and that now and, and management and, and all the fans and supporters. Um, so we, we, you know, we, we push that. Um, and also it's nice to then put that money back into something that's within the local community. So it's, um, yeah, it is good. That side of it is. Um, it gives you fulfillment um, knowing that the money's being invested here rather than going outside of it. So, yeah, and, you know, being part of you know, that that has brought the championship back here home after 27 years is absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant. Do you think the Tigers can do the treble? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, with the help of Tom um, and uh, the backing of and, and the team spirit, the team spirit is such at the minute that the lads haven't lost focus. They've not lost any control about celebrating the fact that they've won one championship. They've realised that, you know, it, it's there for their taking now. So they can go out there now and, and, yeah, definitely, I think they can definitely get two out of three and hopefully three out of three, um, you know, which being a United supporter back in 99, that was amazing. So if they can do that home here, that'd be absolutely brilliant as well. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank you so much for speaking to us. Yeah, no problem. Let's, take a, let's take a look at the second period. So here we go, the second period of Telford Tigers versus Peterborough. The Peterborough Phantoms win the draw, dump the puck down low, goes round behind the net. Gospel off the stick. Now battling for the puck possession. Silverthorne banked off the boards, McGiffin round the boards. Scott goes for it, but the puck goes back. Linesman waves off icing, so Sam Zajac picks up the puck. Peterborough on the fly chase, long stretch pass. To Davis, drops to Bear Bray, who shoots into the left hand side of the net. An amazing first time shot from Max Bear Bray. Passed across from Danny Davis for a fantastic fourth goal of the night for the Tigers. First time shot, and that's what they're looking to do get the defenseman to follow the puck, and then a quick pass and first time shot open onto a net. Now, Silverthorne picks up the puck on a 1 0. It's like a penalty shot. Silverthorne walks in and skies it home in the top right hand corner for the second short handed goal for the Telford Tigers. Scored on 31 minutes and 35 seconds by 22 Jason Silverthorne. Pucks around the back of the net. Peterborough player falls to the ice. Gets back up now. At the end of the second period, it's the Telford Tigers 5, Peterborough Phantoms 0. I am joined with Vrana. Vrana, tell us, how long have you been a fan of the Telford Tigers? Since the Tigers first started, I used to work at the ice rink. And so I have been here since, what, 30 odd years ago? Wow. wow. So, a long time. What, 
is your first memory of ice hockey? I think it was the, I'd never seen it, it was the, I think it was the excitement of it. And it was one of those, you come and you either like it or you didn't. And I got hooked. And I got so hooked on it, I ended up, my husband ended up working as a statistician for the Tigers. It's him behind me. Yeah. So what is it about ice hockey, do you think? Because a, a few people have used that term, that they get hooked on it. Why, what, what do you think it is about it that you do get hooked on? I think it's the excitement and it's the fact that you can, it's a family game as well. I mean, you come here and you can sit down and watch and you're not standing in the cold. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you can wrap up, but yeah. And obviously it's been a fantastic season. Well, it must have been brilliant for you being a fan for so long. Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. I mean, 27 years ago, we were going through this brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Did you do anything to celebrate last weekend? Yeah, we went, we went with the guys to the local pub after they finished the game and celebrated, I guess, for a long time. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much for speaking to us. Enjoy the rest of the game and let's take a look at the third period. One of the linesmen is suffering from concussion, so we go down to one referee and one linesman for the final period. Quiney picks up the puck. Peter a step forward. Kulikov misfired. Davis tries to get the pass back from Novak, but unfortunately didn't quite connect with it. Ferrara, puck taken off him by Quiney. Turn around by his brother, shoots and scores. That's 19 from 17. Two of the Ferrara brothers put Peterborough on the clock for the first goal of the night, a power play goal at 44 minutes and seven seconds. Now, quick skate from Novak, goes up towards the netminder. Peterborough off the boards. Quiney throws the body, Peterborough delay, incoming, shot from 29, Weldon puts it in the back of the net, 29 from seven. Put Peterborough on goal number two. But Bray keeps the wheels going, skates after the puck. And the Peterborough player loses his footing in front of the bench. Dan Scott gives him a shove. Now Peterborough, two on one. Unable to get the pass through. Sam Gospel read it well. Used his stick to stop that pass going through. Puskowskis, and the puck drops down. Puskowskis was in the way of Sam. So the other Peterborough player picked up the puck, got the shot away. And now you've got a 5-3 game. You might have a game on your hands if Peterborough can keep this momentum going. Telford just need another goal just to kill him off a little bit here. Miller skates forward. Puck drops down. Davis to Miller. Now it goes up to the point. Kelped in by the foot of Dan Scott. 91 drives forward. Scott stick checks and a skate in from Pluskowskis. Picks up the puck and fires it home. Now we've got a game on our hands. 5-4 is the scoreline. Pluskowskis, number eight for Peterborough, was the goal scorer. And we've still got just under three minutes to play. Silverthorne. Plays it forward to Salem. Walks through the middle. Salem's through. Throw it down. The referee's got a penalty on there. Will it be a penalty shot? 91 Salem. The penalty was against. He has a quick word with Marshall. His partner in crime. It's whether he gives a penalty shot. And whether Telford take the penalty shot or take the extra man for the last minute and a half. They're a goal in front. So there's no call on the play. The referee's definition of that is because Salem went through and maintained possession of the puck, there is no call on the play. So that's a tough one. Oh, Max, on. 10 seconds remaining. Babre skates after the puck, leads in front and puts the empty net goal in. And he plays the body. And there's a bit of tension there between Pluskowskis and Babre. Babre got there. I'm not sure what Pluskowskis did as he chased him down. But Babre put it in the empty net goal. Was there a bit of a slash there? Max wasn't very happy when he turned round. But it is an empty net goal. So things got off to a reasonable start in the first. Yeah, that, uh, I actually thought Peter had a good good first 10 minutes in the first period. I thought we were quite slow at the blocks, but I thought we had some good finishing. Max scored a couple of uh, heavy duty slap shots there and uh, we, we led through the first 3-0 and we had a pretty good second. Um, going into the third with 5-0 up and we, we, we took our foot off the gas, which is disappointing. You know, if you approach a cup final and we've got that amount, that goal differential going in there and, and, and we give up, what, four goals probably in 10 minutes. So uh, it was frustrating. 
So, looking forward then, you've still got the game against Sheffield tomorrow, which is always going to be a tough one. Well, it will be. I think we'll end up with Sheffield in the playoffs. So, uh, we've got to come out, we've got to come hard, and uh, we've got to play with a little bit of an edge tomorrow. That concludes the first of two games this weekend. Peterborough running it right to the wire, but Tom Watkins' men came out with a two-goal lead by the end of the game. What will happen tomorrow as they take on the Sheffield Steel Dogs? Find out. 5.30, Telford Ice Ring.